Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to upload an avatar for VRChat for PC, Quest, Android Mobile and iOS. This tutorial is going to aim, be aimed at people who never uploaded anything. It's going to be very you know, basic, easy to follow. I'm going to explain everything. Um, the requirements are that you need to have a VRChat account. If you have a Steam or a Quest account like Meta account, you need to make your VRChat account and merge them, which you can do on the website, link in description, vrchat.com. And also, you need to be a new user or a higher rank in VRChat. How do you do this? Um, you just play the game, make friends, talk, you know, play games, mess around, and uh, you get your rank, and then you can upload stuff. And when you're ready with that, then you need to first download the Creator Companion. So we go onto the website, link in description, and you go to download after you log in, and you download the Creator Companion. The Creator Companion is basically an app that VRChat made that helps you to uh, manage uh, avatar and world projects for uploading and working with it. It's quite useful. So you download it and you install it. And when you have it installed, you open it and it's gonna look something like this, basically. There's not gonna be no projects. I have a lot of them, but uh, I'm gonna be making a new one for you for this tutorial. And uh, what also is gonna be companion ask you is uh, to install Unity. The, correct version. Unity is the game engine that VRChat runs on and we need it to be able to upload stuff. And it, uh, usually Companion just allows you to install it automatically. It just asks you and you click yes please install ok and it's, everything's done automatically. If for some reason it doesn't work, you can also download Unity manually, link in description. You can download Unity Hub, which is going to look something like this. And then you basically uh, Click installs and install editor and you install the correct uh, version that VRChat uses now, which you can find on this link in the documentation, link in the description as well. And you basically look for this number and then you find it in the Unity Hub and you install it. It's somewhere here. So when you have created a companion and you have Unity installed, you make a new project. For example, Avatars 2022, you name it whatever you want. For example, Uploading Tutorial 2025. You select the folder where you want it to be saved. Make sure you have enough space on your hard drive or SSD. And you click Create Project. After that, it's going to build for a little bit. It's going to create everything. It can take like 5-10 minutes. And after that's done, you're going to find it in the list here. And you're going to manage project and all that you need for the basic uh, setup in the beginning is just these three things the avatar SDK base, SDK avatars and resolver tool so after you see this little screen you click here open project I have it opened already so for me it's being to front but for you it's going to be open the project and it's going to build for the first time and install all the necessary stuff. So that's going to take also 5-10 minutes. But when you're done, you're going to see this Unity window. And you're also going to see this VRChat window. It's going to ask you to log in. So you put in your VRChat account credentials. Then it's going to ask you to confirm on your email and enter a digit code, six digit code. So you do that. And after you're done, it should tell you if you're able to uh, upload avatars and worlds and if if it does uh, it says you're allowed everything's good and now we can upload but we don't have our avatar here yet so there's nothing to upload so we go to uh, where we have our avatar which I for example I'm uploading this avatar uh, for PC and Quest iOS and Android mobile and uh, I bought it on Gumroad and the creator gave me a lot of instructions that I can just follow. It's quite simple. So I'm going to show you basically how to do everything. So I need to download these two packages and then I need to put them into my Unity project, which I can literally just do by um, just clicking it like this or double clicking in your, you know, downloads folder. And it's going to prepare the package and that can take, you know, five, 10 minutes. So we just uh, let it work. 
after it's finished opening, you're going to see this import Unity package window, and you can see all the stuff that's going to be imported. So we just basically click uh, import. And that can also take 5, 10, 15 minutes even, depends how uh, big the package is, so we just let it work. After all the importing is done, you want to look for the scene that has your avatars in it. It usually is called click me or something similar and has this unity icon. So you double click it and it's going to open the scene. I'm going to put my VRChat SDK window to the side as well. Also, we can close it if you want and you can open it later again. Uh, I'm going to do that actually. You can literally just open it like this. It's going to open. But I'm going to put it to the side after Unity finishes uh, doing whatever this is, which, you know, randomly happens. It's just how it is. <laughs> it does it again. There we go. So now you... <laughs> Hello, okay. Now you find your avatar. How do you navigate, by the way, through this? As you use your mouse, if you hold your right button, right mouse button, you can like look around like this. If you hold your mouse wheel but as a button, basically, mouse wheel button, you can like move like this. And also, you know, you can scroll, you know, forward and back with your mouse wheel and you can also use your arrows to fly around. And you can change the speed of the flying uh, in here, camera speed. Let me make it a bit, you know, bigger. So what do you what do you find? In this case, we have uh, all these different versions for PC. Some of them are, for example, good performance with less features. They're meant, for example, for events. And then we have a request that we select one of them. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna upload the uh, all toggles very poor version, the standard one. So I just select it in the SDK. I'm gonna find it, PC1. And all of this, these fields and the picture should be empty. If it's not empty, there's some kind of an ID attached and what you need to do is to select here in the hierarchy, the avatar, and find the pipeline manager here in the inspector. And if there's some kind of a, you know, number with letters or whatever, the ID, you detach. Like this needs to be empty. And it is empty here, so that's fine, that's how it should be. So I'm gonna name my avatar Fluff. And if any of these tags apply, you you know click them. And I, I wanna keep it private, which means only I can wear the avatar. Nobody else, only my on my account. And there's two ways how to select a picture. The first way is the creator sometimes have a um, you know includes a picture. It should be kind of a rectangle like this, but we only have a square picture. So I'm gonna be doing something else. I'm gonna disable this uh, sign in the background like this. And I'm gonna capture from the scene. And I can just navigate. I can, you can also do like silly pictures like this, for example. But I'm gonna do something normal. Nav navigate like this. You can fill the background with a color. And to fine tune and adjust, I'm gonna change my camera speed. Oh, this is gonna drive some people nuts because it's not gonna be symmetric, which I find hilarious, but it is what it is. Okay, so this is fine. I'm gonna capture. So after you're uh, done with uh, your thumbnail, you scroll down and you check if there's any problems and uh, you just, for these, you just, just auto fix and it's going to fix it. And when the avatar is ready to be uploaded and everything's fine, this is not going to be grayed out, basically. It's going to be look like this and you click the checkbox and you build and publish. Uh, if it asks for anything like this, click yes. And now it's going to upload. Uh, first time you upload an avatar, it can take um, 5 to 15 minutes, especially if you're using Payomi shader. So we just, you know, let it work and then you come back to it and I'll show you how to upload for Quest, Android Mobile and iOS. After the upload is done, you're gonna see this little upload succeeded, green message, so you dismiss. 
And if you scroll up and open this, you're going to see that the supported platforms are now Windows. So for PC, our avatar is ready, and now we need to make it a Quest and iOS compatible. So how do we do that? First, you change the platform to Android and iOS, but it's not going to allow you because you don't have the modules installed yet. So how do we install the modules? You go to File and uh, Build Settings, and you look for Android, and it's going to make you, it's gonna, there's going to be a button to install the module, and it's going to open Unity Hub. And in Unity Hub, it's going to open a dialog, which is going to prepare everything for you, and you just click Install. And you just let it install, it's going to take a little bit. And you do this both for Android and, and iOS, if your avatar is uh, iOS compatible as well. And then after the installation in Unity Hub is complete, you have to restart your Unity. And then you come back. And uh, it should look like this. There should be like all these options. And for Android, you uh, you can click switch platform here, but also we can do it in the VR chat uh, SDK window. So I'm gonna do it here. Just switch to Android, confirm. And switching for the first time takes uh, quite a lot of time as well, five to 15 minutes. Um, if you do it next time in the same project, it's not gonna take as long usually. Um, so we just let it work. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the upload when it's done. So after it's done, you're gonna go to Builder again and you're gonna find your Quest version. So let's see, I want, for example, for my Quest version, I'm gonna select the, this one. It's the most, uh, you know, comparable to the PC version that I have and I wanna use this one. It's called the Quest 6, so I'm gonna find it here. And now comes the most important part. You want to find the ID of the PC avatar that you uploaded, and you want to use the same ID for the Quest version. So they're basically, you know, used at the same time with the same ID. That's how it works, really. So you find the PC version that you uploaded, and you copy this Blueprint ID, which you control C. And then you go to the Quest version and you control V and attach. And it's gonna refresh here and you're gonna see the data from the information from the PC version. Sometimes it doesn't load the name for some reason, but that's fine, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the picture is, uh, you know, looks right, so it should be fine. So you scroll down and uh, you auto fix this thing. And then you click here and you go build and publish. And quest uploads take much less time because they're small. They're maximum uh, 10 megabytes, I think. So you let it work for a little bit and we're gonna see how it's been uploaded. After the upload's complete, you're gonna see upload succeeded again, the same message. And if you scroll up, you're gonna see your supported platforms are now Android. Now, the fun part, <laughs> basically, is that if your avatar for Android is poor or better performance, it's going to be automatically um, uploaded for Android mobile, which is like, you know, phones, not Quest headsets. So this avatar is poor for performance, so it's going to be automatically usable for Android mobile. And now the only thing that needs to be done is uh, the iOS, which is uh, basically, which has the same rule, really. Um, it has to be poor performance which is the same requirement for, uh, you know, iOS as it is for Quest. And th this, that means that this avatar can be uh, uploaded for iOS as well. So you select the platform and you change to iOS. And it's going to take a while again. Okay, so when we've uh, changed our build to iOS, we select the Quest version again, the same one that we just uploaded. And we check everything is correct. And for iOS, you don't have to put the ID anywhere. You basically use the same version as for the Quest. So you just uh, online publish, build and publish. And this should also take just a bit because um, it's a really small avatar. And after this is completed, you're officially done and your avatar has been uploaded. So um, do let me know what you think. Write some comments, maybe thumbs up, maybe share it with your friends who need you know, help uploading. Let me know what kind of videos I should do next. Uh, and I'll see you in 2025. Happy uploading, enjoy VR chat and uh, 
I'll see you later.